Before we get started, y'all know I'm an entrepreneur and a YouTuber. I have these three apps I want y'all to go download called Wi-Fi Watchers, Click Cut, and Get Funds. Also, before we get started, I'm thinking about going to a career in the health field. Now, y'all tell me if y'all feel like I'm too emotional to do that. I want to be a 911 dispatcher. You know, I don't care how much money I ever make. It's certain things that I want to do, like help other people, like be there for them, comfort them, and stuff like that. So, do y'all feel like I'm too emotional to be a 911 dispatcher? And if you're a 911 dispatcher or you know anything about that and you feel like you can help guide me and get started with this process, make sure you email me, tiffanymdraper at gmail.com. All right. Let's hop right into the story. Me out. I honestly believe this story. Malia Davis died when she hit her head. However, the dismembered part is what bothers me. Like, how hard is it to call the police if somebody really hit their head and it was an accident? I've never understood why people will go so far to the extreme to cover up something if they claim it was an accident. I think the police will understand she fell and hit her head more than you chopped her body up, put her in a clothes hamper, and dumped her body in a different state. Hmm. An inmate in the Harris County Jail claims he first alerted Houston police to the location of a four-year-old Malia Davis's body nearly a week before her remains were found in Arkansas. David Chalfont and Darian Vince are both housed in the protective custody floor inside the jail. Chalfont is awaiting transfer to prison on an armed robbery conviction while Vince is charged with tampering with the corpse in connection with Malia's disappearance. Here's another thing. Why isn't he being charged with murder? So that must lead us to believe like, like this story is true. They already knew that where her body was and that, that she was dead, but he more than likely didn't cause her death. Mm, tampering with a corpse, right? Mm. <sighs> Child one told ABC 13 Eyewitness News, Eyewitness News that Vince allegedly told them how the four-year-old girl died. In the exclusive interview, Chalfon said Vince initially told him she died from the flu in her sleep. I told him nobody's going to believe that. There are pictures of her walking behind you. She wasn't sick. I asked him, why did you hide the body? And he said he panicked because of the time she had fractured her skull before. On Saturday, Chalfon said not only was he aware of the location of the remains, but that Vince told him exactly how she died. He said she was sitting on his lap and he tossed her off, and she hit her head. So then he did it. What do you mean he didn't kill her? She didn't just hit her head on her own. This is what's pissing me off. Y'all led us to her body. Okay, great. You don't have to keep looking for her. But now just tell the truth. You ain't got to lie, Craig. Just tell the truth. You already in deep dookie, skating on thin ice. In boiling water, just tell the truth. You act like telling the truth is going to kill y'all. This is ridiculous. Okay, so this situation reminds me of like, that's why they say do not send your ideas to companies, your, you know, if you want to create a product or anything like that, because they will act like they don't take unsolicited material but they will steal your idea and not even reply it says Chalfon said he then forwarded that information to detective and has still not received a response social activist Quinell X was credited with getting the confession from Vince which ultimately revealed the location of Malia's body Chalfon said he is the one who initially gave the location along with a handwritten note he gave the detective based on information from Vince shared with him that's horrible, y'all. They didn't want to get that man his money, basically. Y'all know what it is. That's why we can't believe them when they say, oh, um, since Cornell can't get the money or Texas Equus Search, we're just going to give the money back to other people. No, 
Y'all don't want to get that money to that inmate. I know y'all have heard this from now already. This is not new news, but y'all haven't heard my perspective on it. So I appreciate the people that was wanting to hear what I thought about it. Child Fund didn't realize that by the time the remains were located, the black trash bag containing them had been plowed over by a highway maintenance crew, compromising whatever evidence there was in there entirely. Why did they wait to act on it? Yeah, they waited because they didn't want to give you no money, straight up. I wouldn't be surprised if they taking that money for themselves. Do you mean they may not have a cause of death? Does that mean he won't be charged with murder? Child from Bullets, Cornell X was brought in to prevent him from qualifying for the reward money offered for finding the little girl. He said he intended to keep a small portion of the reward and return the rest to the people who pledged cash to bring her home. ABC 13 Eyewitness News reached out to HPD for a response. However, a spokesman said the department does not have a comment on this ongoing investigation. Of course they don't have a comment. They some mute Helen Keller motherfuckers. They never want to say nothing. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is what happens, y'all, all the time. And people just sit back and let it happen. It's your girl at Tiffany and Draper. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. Shout out to this man. They're probably not going to believe this man because they're going to say, oh, he's a felon. He's in trouble with the law. He's not credible. Please. He got a bigger heart than, than Cornell X's cheeks. I'm telling you.